What? What? What is wrong? What? Have this removed immediately, please. <laughs> are you laughing at me? No, no, no. These no. are brand new shoes. Well, I just had these bought well, for me. I'm sorry about that. I'm not, it's not funny. Wait, not, you, no, you're, it's la you're not, laughing. It's not funny. What? It's not funny. It's not funny. <laughs> it's, okay, okay. Wait, Zach, I can't, I can't breathe. I can't breathe. I can't. I can't. Uh, I can, actually. <laughs> okay, um, how about I convince them to let me go home? We've been apart long enough. I should have taken him out when I had the chance. Uh. Yeah. And then our baby's father would be in prison. He came after my family. He's gone. <sighs> Jesse, it's done. It's just not done. So what? We, we spend forever wanting revenge that we can't have? I could have stopped it. <laughs> Could have stopped them. You know, David is dead. We're alive. And we cannot waste our our energy and time on, on anger. I mean, I've I've been sitting on mine a long time and I needed to get it out. But the two of us yelling and screaming at each other about how vile he was is not going to do anyone any good. And especially not this baby. I hate that he made you suffer, and you're still suffering. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. I have a husband I adore, a career, a job that I love. I have Frankie, Cassandra, Natalia, Randy. Baby, let's not look back when we have so many beautiful reasons to look forward to. Sorry. I should have done more to protect you. <laughs> Sweetheart, there is nothing, nothing that you could have done. Listen to me, baby. Everything is happening exactly as it should. We're together. All three of us. All three of us. No regrets. No fear. Only love. Look, I wanted to fill you in about all this. I really did. But Jack and I wanted to keep it as quiet as possible so Liza wouldn't find out. I mean, Greenlee doesn't even know. Is this really happening? Look, I, I, know, I know how hard this, is, this has all been, okay? And I hated putting you through this. Then don't. Stop it right now. Look, this is a really good plan. This is going to work. I can't believe you would throw yourself under the bus. <laughs> Possibly leave Spike and Emma without a father for Greenlee? That's not what I'm doing. That's, that's not what's happening here. I'm just creating reasonable doubt. That's it. And what happens when Greenlee gets off, huh? Liza's going to want a conviction one way or the other. She will have you on trial before you can blink. And what happens then, Ryan, huh? Who throws himself under the bus for you? I need some air. Your Honor, Mr. Pearson revealed none of this when we deposed him. The fact that he's coming forward now, it just smacks of a sneak attack by the defense, and it violates every rule of discovery. I assure you, Mr. Pearson had a legitimate reason for not coming forward until now. Yeah, because you want to blindside me. No, actually, Counsel, this was recent news to me, too. Yeah, I'm sure it was. Your Honor just made the point that this witness has been on the list since the very beginning. More than ample time for the prosecution to have interviewed him, so I don't think the defense should be penalized because Miss Colby here didn't do her due diligence. I'm with Mr. Montgomery on this one. Why don't you continue with your witness? Thank you, Your Honor. Mr. Pearson, the man you saw outside your hotel room, had you ever seen him before the night of the murder? No, I haven't seen him since either. Really? Take a look around if you would. Do you see him in this courtroom today? No. The man I saw that night is definitely... That's him. That, that, that's the guy who said someone's going to die tonight.
You okay? I've seen these amnios for a, a lot of years, many times, and I've even helped perform a few. These things are done all the time, right? Dozens. Yeah. And as a physician, I would not have any hesitation about walking into that room, but the scared hormonal me is about ready to run for the nearest exit. Listen, whatever you decide to do, stay or go, I'm with you all the way. You know that. Zach, I... I've dreamed of this moment. You and me coming back to this place together, walking through that front door for the first time. You ready? Yeah. I, uh, miss this place. It's nice. Yeah. I... I love this place. I do. I love the, the nick in the kitchen door that Spike made with his first hockey stick. Come on. I love the chip and the paint from when you and the boys got crazy playing superheroes. Oh, and then the, the crack in the glass from our champagne cork. Remember that? From our anniversary. I didn't fix that. No. Oh. No, and I'm glad he didn't. I've never had this before. Visible memories. We did that. You and me and the boys. You built me a house, and then we made this house a home. We should maybe make some more nicks and scratches. I think we should. You know, actually, um, I think we did a lot more than that right Right over here. Yeah. Like, yeah, what do we like do? We did, I'll show you in a minute. I'll show you what we did right over here. Oh, no, no. You better not get that. Don't get that. I have to. I'm expecting a call. It's later. Got it. Who is that? What's wrong? I can't stay here with you. I gotta go. Let the record show that the witness has identified Ryan Lavery as the man who said someone will die tonight. Tonight that David Hayward was murdered. Now, what time did you see Mr. Lavery in your hotel corridor? Around 9 o'clock. My receipt says I checked out at 8.55. I saw him right after that. This is the police report from that night. Would you please be so kind as to read the highlighted area to the court? It's the time of death of David Hayward. It says 9, 10 p.m. So 10 minutes after Mr. Lavery said to you someone was going to die, David Hayward was murdered. Is that correct? Looks that way. Ms. Coleman made an important point a minute ago, and I'd like to revisit it. This was pretty big news, Mr. Pearson. Why did you wait so long to come forward? You allowed my client here to be charged with murder. But who you saw, Ryan Lavery... Where you saw him, the hotel where David Hayward died, when you saw him, just minutes before that death. And most importantly, what he said to you, that someone was going to die tonight. Now, isn't the only logical conclusion that Ryan Lavery killed David Hayward? Objection! Your Honor, this is outrageous. Objection sustained. Watch your step, Counselor. Why did you wait so long to come forward, Mr. Pearson? Let me remind you, you are under oath. I'm a married man. The woman I was with in that hotel that night isn't my wife. I see. It must have been difficult then for you to give this testimony today. The court thanks you, and my client thanks you, and I thank you. I have no further questions. You're up, Miss Kobe. Yeah, you know, I'm just finding this whole thing just a little too convenient. So you just happen to come back right now, right when the trial's starting, and you change your story. Hmm? You just happen to run into a guy who declares that he is going to commit murder to you. Total stranger. Really? You, you don't find that just a little bit odd? 
That's what happened. Well, how wonderful for the defense. How you doing financially, Mr. Pearson? Objection. Relevance. Miss Colby? Oh, I'm getting there. I'll get there fast. Hmm. So you work for a hotel chain. Did the recession hit you hard? Well, it hasn't been our best year. If, let's say, someone, a father whose daughter is on trial for murder offered you a very large sum Objection, of money... Objection, Your a, Honor. A, sustained. Did Mr. Montgomery ask you to lie? No. Did he threaten you? No. Oh, so there's another reason why you are insulting the intelligence of this jury by feeding them this garbage? Look, this is the last place that I want to be. But I've got an obligation to tell the truth, and the jury's got a right to hear it. No further questions. We'll take a brief recess. When we return, the defense will call his next witness. All rise. You lied to me. Greenlee. Green. I am so proud of you. You did great. And so did you, my little belly button. Well, now the hard part, we wait for the results. Well, let me get you home. Have some quality time, huh? Family. Oh, baby, I'm gonna bore you to tears. I have to lie on the couch and take it easy for the rest of the day. That's okay, I love our couch. We fit so well together on it. No, 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 no. I have no idea what just happened here, but there is no way you were going out that door. Okay, Zach, maybe you're a little freaked out, and, and that's okay. I understand. We'll go slow. But you want to make this work. I know you do. I felt it when you kissed me. You want to stay and fight for what we have, don't you? You knew about that witness. You planned this whole thing with my father behind my back. Eliza does not need to hear this. Coming okay, to court every day, know? using me to get kicked out, it was all a setup. Hey, look, you knew I went to Jack to try and get him to point this Yeah, yeah, you and you knew that. I hated it. That's why you didn't tell me. You could be charged with murder. You're innocent. Greenlee, that, that's the bottom line here, okay? After what that guy heard me say, I could be guilty. So, yes, I'm, I'm doing everything that I can possibly do to make sure that you go free. Yes. This, you, it's incredible, but I can't let you do it. It's done. No, it won't work anyway. The strategy is all flawed. It all hinges on convincing the jury that you're still in love with me. That you killed David so we could be together, but it's not true. It's all an act. Right? I gotta get out of here. Okay. You kissed me. Right here. You're with another woman, but you're willing to give up everything for me. 